Thanks for the ride to work, William. Coffee machine is in the back. Oh, great, thanks. You know, since starting Denton Associates, I've become quite a staple at Staples. Oh, whatever. If you get busted, I don't know you. Good morning, girlfriend. It's birthday time again. Today we're chipping in for Chapman. Whatever. Working in an office full of birthday people is making me go broke. Now, now, Lynn. What goes around comes around. When it was my birthday, I got over $1,000. Oh, hey, um, how much do you think I'll get on my birthday? This Friday. <laughs> oh, my God! You're this Friday! <laughs> Trust that dirt will be here in the morning. <laughs> yeah, but my job won't. Then my kids won't have money to go to Disneyland with their class, and I'll be labeled as a bad mother. Oh, you have kids? Yeah. Uh. Two boys, two jobs, and too much on my shoulders. Uh. <laughs> one kid, one job, and wondering how I'm going to make it by myself. Mm. <laughs> Amaya. Tasha. Hey, girl, you sick. <laughs> So, did your man divorce you, die on you, or never marry? Divorce. You know, and mm. we're still going through it. Well, it's been three years for me. Oh, yeah? What happened between you two? Huh. He cheated on me. <laughs> what happened with your husband? Oh, girl, you know. Something like that. Mm. Girl, ain't none of them no good? That's true. I mean, come on, let's be real. Uh. When we were married, we were single mothers anyway. Uh. I mean, come on. All they did was dirty up the tub uh -huh. and fart in bed. Uh. <laughs> Late. You're lucky I got here early so I could cover for you. What the hell are you doing here? I had a little work I needed to finish, so I wanted to get an early start. Uh, William, you don't work here. <laughs> Nobody at the staff meeting seemed to care. We were all too busy ragging on you because you were late. You know, this is just a little weird. Well, come on, you got the empty cubicle here. I miss the camaraderie of the office, the water cooler banter, the hum of the fluorescence. Besides, if I leave now... Softball team's gonna be short a pitcher. Yeah, and if you get caught, I can get in trouble. Oh, instead of worrying about me getting caught, you need to worry about you getting caught in your little birthday scam. William, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, we got you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're taking advantage of these nice people. You told them your birthday was on Friday, and it's not. That's a lie. Yeah, well, you told them that you work here, and you don't, and that's a lie. Happy birthday! Welcome to the office! <laughs> Maya! We're leaving! You guys, gosh darn it! I can't go! Babysitter dropped out! I gotta watch Jabari! Girl, just make the boys some snacks, lock up, and let's go! Tony, you don't leave nine-year-olds by themselves. Jamiroquai is nine now? Did Auntie Tony miss a birthday? <laughs> Maya! I know a woman down the street that says she has a really good babysitter. Joan, I am not leaving my child with someone you don't even know. Oh, well, I know someone, and she's a dog sitter. Uh, she did a really good job with Bosco. Oh. Think about it, it's kind of the same thing. Jabari likes to take walks, oh, Jabari yeah. likes snacks. And most of all, he likes to be called by his real name, Jamunji. Oh, yeah. No, no, you guys go ahead, go ahead and make jokes, laugh. It's great, real funny, huh, huh, you know? But when y'all want to go out, you just go. Not Maya. No, no, no. Before Maya can make plans, Maya has to find a sitter. Uh-huh. Find a way to pay for the sitter and hope that I have enough money left to go out with y'all. You know, not everybody has a lot of zotty. We like to party life like y'all. But you know what? Y'all are going to see one day when you have kids. Yeah, well, all right. <clears throat> Bye, sweetie. See you when I see you. Take see that sign. All right, girl. All done. Mm. No more pay in your pay per view. Okay. You can watch whatever you want, boxing, barbershop. Now, if you have any problem with the box, don't call the cable company. Call me. I'll tell you how to move in, Dick. Girl, this is Jones' house. Well, Jones' not a single mom. She mm. don't know. 
We've got it hard. And I don't see our precious government trying to help us out. So I consider this a subsidy. Instead of government cheese, we get free cable. <laughs> well, you know, I have to admit, it hasn't been easy since Darnell and I split. Have you worked out the details of your divorce? Like who gets what, visitation rights, child support payments? Yeah, you know, we've worked out a basic agreement. A basic agreement means you basically get screwed. You are the victim here. Girl, you better wake up and smell a lawyer. <laughs> okay, you know okay, stop it. You know what, you guys, come by. Somebody, somebody better One, get somebody two, the ball. Three, right now. Four, stop it. Ooh, you're in trouble. You made me do it. I can't take your butt nowhere. Come sit down. You two, sit down. Jabari, don't even look at me. Just go to the back. <gasps> oh, my God. Joan is going to trip. The statue, I mean, she got this from Ghana. Oh, it's a Ghana now. <laughs> John, uh, tell me, this is, uh, this is my friend Tasha. Hi. These are her two boys. This is Junior and little Larry. Hi. Y'all say hi to Miss Joan. Hi, hi Miss Joan. Joan. Oh, so is Miss Tony invisible? Hi, hi Miss Tony. Tony. I'm waiting, did you be? Oh. Okay, you know what, Tony? This is the last time, for real. His name is Jabari. Look at you, Joe. We finally got some real cable. Excuse me? Where did that come from? My mom's trunk. Ooh, you're running boxes? Girl, I've been looking for somebody like you. Now, don't go anywhere. I gotta peep it. I'll be right back with my checkbook. You installed illegal cable in my house? Um, okay, boys. It's time to go. Go to the back. Get your things. Come on. <clears throat> go on. Go to the back and help them. Joe, what? Girl, it's just a little hookup. Everybody does it. Not me. Okay, fine. I'll take it out of here. Um, and I'm really sorry about your statue. My statue? What statue? What happened to my statue? What? Um, you know what, girl? The kids were running around, they were playing, and it, it broke by accident. It, yeah. Girl, it's simple. The next earthquake, just call your insurance company and report it. <laughs> now you want me to commit insurance fraud? Look, my boy broke it, so I'll pay for it. I can give you five dollars a month. This thing cost over a thousand dollars. Six dollars a month? And it had sentimental value. Oh, oh girl, come here. You know, Tasha, why don't you just go on and go? I'll, I'll give you a call tomorrow, okay? Okay. Well, I'll get the box from you tomorrow. And I really am sorry about your statue. Come on, boys. Say bye. Bye, girl. Who is that? I told you, she's a friend. I don't want that type of person in my house. Oh, excuse me? What do you mean by that type of person? Okay, Tasha is a single mother trying to make it, just like me. That criminal is nothing like you, Maya. Joan, she just hooked up a stupid cable box. What? Yeah, well, I don't want it or her in my house. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Now this is your house? Yes! <laughs> That is what you people don't seem to understand. This is my house. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? You don't have to worry about Tasha or Jabari or me in your house. Because you know what? I'm moving out. Whatever. So, okay. okay. Where did old girl with the boxes go? <laughs> hey, Tasha. You know what? I am. Um, I'm trying to move out of Jones as, as soon as I can. You know, and I know that you're still living with your mom, and and my living situation is well, girl. Look, you know what that is. <laughs> and uh, well, we're cool, and uh, we kind of vibe. I mean, we vibe, right? Yeah, we vibe. Right, right. So, I was thinking, you know, maybe we could get a place together, be roommates. You watch mine, I watch yours, kind of thing. It'll be fun. What do you say? I say, 
You better get a lock for your closet if you don't want me all up in it, girl. You got some cute clothes. <laughs> One of Jabari's mac and cheeses. <laughs> Maya, I haven't eaten any of your damn food. Oh, so this 12-pack just magically became an 11-pack. Is that what you're saying to me? What are you worried about? I'm sure your new roommate can hook you up with some free mac and cheese. <laughs> Joan, is it okay if I let my ex and my son into your house? Whatever, Maya. you today. How was school? Good. Good. Guess what? what? Dad's taking me to a hockey game Friday night. Oh. Yeah, that's why we're a little late, because I had to pick up the tickets. Hmm. All right, little man. We'll see you on Friday. Friday. All right. Later. Darnell, uh, I have Jabari on Fridays. Did you ever cross your mind that maybe we had plans? Oh, my fault. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have cleared that with you first. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So what are you guys doing? Nothing, for but you didn't know that. <laughs> Let me leave, because I feel attitude bouncing all off of you. Mm. Mm. You know what, Darnell, we need to get a little bit more specific about our divorce agreement. But I thought we already agreed on everything. No, 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 see, it's easy to agree when you're not specific. But what happens when we have to be specific and we can't agree on the specifics? Am I supposed to just trust you? I'm not the one that can't be trusted here. You know, you can always hold that one indiscretion over my head hard to get what you want. You know, I have no recourse, no protection. I'm being victimized all up and through this. And let me tell you something, brother. You know what? It ain't gonna fly. You're the victim? Yes, I am. You must be smoking. <laughs> if anything, I think I've been pretty damn fair up until this point. <sighs> Who pays all the big bills? I do. You said you wanted a good car? I gave you the good car. And I'm still paying insurance on both them bad boys. And I do all of this not because I have to, but because our son shouldn't have to go through some messy divorce. Now, if you want to go getting all specific with everything, hey, handle yours. I am so sick and tired Be of sick, you then. playing no, 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 no. You're not going to make thing. me a criminal. I am victimized. In this what are you You're wrong. I did not you I did it. Jabari is back there. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be back on Friday to pick up our son. Emphasis on our. Maya, what are you doing? I'm taking care of my business. Emphasis on my. Look, it is one thing for you to let your friend Tasha drive a wedge between me and you, but your relationship with Darnell is much more important. You have Jabari to think about, Maya. Were you thinking about Jabari when you ate his mac and cheese? <laughs> Maya, if you keep this up, your amicable divorce is going to get nasty and you're going to hurt a lot of people. Hurt? Hurt? What about my hurt, okay? No one up in here seems to be thinking about that. Maya, I have been putting you up in my house for the last six months with free room and board and I am not thinking about your hurt? You little ingrate. Uh-uh. Don't you damn play that, okay? I told you that I would pay you some rent. And I told you that I didn't want your money because we are friends. And as your friend, I am telling you, you are messing up. Hey, Chapman, what happened? I got fired. Fired? For what? I lied about my birthday. <laughs> oh, and happy birthday. Lynn, you know why we're here, don't you? Huh? Your birthday isn't really today. Now is it? Huh? You heard me. Look, guys, I'm really sorry. I just 
got caught up in the whole birthday fever. And... We take birthdays very seriously around here. And we don't appreciate you coming in here trying to pull the wool over our eyes. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is you take a deep breath and blow out those candles because we're still birthday people! Lynn, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, I, I, I don't get it. You guys just fired Chapman for this. This? And for downloading porn all day. Are you fired people for this? Who cares? It's my birthday! <laughs> Fake money. Hmm. Fake money for a fake birthday. Don't cross us again, bitch. <laughs> Dang, girl, how much of this stuff are you planning on returning? All of it. <laughs> Tasha. What? You lost or something? I was about to go pick up the boys some shoes. And what's wrong with your phone? I keep calling, I can't get through. Oh, that's because I have a trifling Negro's block on the phone. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to see my boys. You're always trying to do something. Won't you try and catch up on some child support? What are you talking about? I pay. You just mad because I won't break you off a little extra and get your raggedy nails. So what's raggedy is the trifling heaven that you left me and your kids for. Why you always got to go there? Because that's where it's at. I just want to see my boys, Tasha. Take a picture. They need a father. They have me. I'm more of a father than you could ever be. So that sticks, huh? That sticks. Sounds like he really misses those boys. Tasha, girl, I don't, I don't want to overstep my boundaries. They don't. So Darnell and I talked, and we're back on track. That's good, Maya. And I owe you an apology. I know I've been acting a little janky lately. A little? Girl, don't sugarcoat it. You have been acting totally janky. I know I've been a little ungrateful. You know, without you, Joan, I wouldn't have been able to get through all this. So can we get you unpacked? Thank you, but I'm still moving out. With that cable thief? No, no, I'm getting my own place. I cannot hide from being single forever. Maya, I'm always here for you, if you need me. Thank you. <laughs> Is that what I'm saying? <laughs> what, we got some more issues? No. Frank can't get a hug? I, I, I can't. What? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm a macaroni thief. <laughs> So you find a place yet? Nah, girl. I called Sticks. He's coming by on Sunday to pick up the boys. You did the right thing, Tasha. Damn right. Mm -hmm. Shoot, I need the afternoon off. Mama tired. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe we could do something. Well, you know, I do have the hookup down at the Magic Johnson Theater. Who, Monty? Yes. Girl, I got the same hookup. Monty's my cousin. Tasha, shut up! Monty is my cousin! It's Rodney. What the hell are you doing? Cleaning up on the birthday cash. What? Why do you get real cash? Because I'm not a liar. Today really is my birthday. Oh, but you are a liar. You don't even work here. <laughs> hey, birthday people! This guy doesn't even work here. <gasps> Rodney! Lynn's right. She's absolutely right. I don't work here. Anymore. Yesterday, I passed the bar. 
And I'm a lawyer now. Well, I'm out of here. Everybody get out your wallets. Roddy's going to need a new briefcase. <laughs>